Hi friends, welcome back to Science with Miss A. It is so good to be back and I'm so excited to work with you guys on some cool things in science. This unit is all about engineering. Yeah, engineering. Engineering are people who come up with big ideas on how to plan and build things. They are really cool people and guess what? We're gonna think just like engineers today. Now, sometimes engineers come up with plans on how to build big things like roads and bridges and buildings. And sometimes they come up with plans on how to build smaller things like your markers and your slates and your desks and even the chairs that we sit on every day. Maybe your dining table. All of those things, there are engineers who think of plans on how to build them. Now, one really cool thing about engineers is that they make each object do a certain job. So every object that's in your house right now has a specific job. And we're going to look at some objects today and think about what their particular job is. Let's start with this object right here. Now, you might not recognize it because it's all wrapped up, but this is an umbrella. What is this object used for? This umbrella is used to protect me from the rain. Look at all this hair. I can't let it get wet. So this umbrella is used to protect my hair. The engineer designed this umbrella so that when I open it up, it would open super wide and keep the rain from touching my head and wetting my whole body. That way I can stay dry no matter how rainy it is outside. How awesome is that? All right, let's keep looking at objects. Look at this thing. What is this and what is it used for? It's a frying pan. This frying pan is used for cooking food. The engineer designed this frying pan so I could get really hot and cook up my food just the way I like it. Maybe it's a bacon, egg and cheese. Maybe it's just vegetable stir fry. Whatever I'm making, the engineer designed it so that it could cook my food and make it really yummy so that I could have a good dinner. All right, let's keep going. I have another, uh-oh, anyways, I have another object here. What is this? This should be very familiar to a lot of us. It's a hairbrush. This is a hairbrush's use. I brush my hair. Well, I'm not gonna brush my hair now because it's already brushed up. But the idea is that I use this to brush my hair. It is used to make your hair neat. Now, the engineer who designed this made sure it has all these little tiny bubbles up here so that it could take all your hair and take all the knots so your hair could be nice, smooth, and shiny. That is the use of this brush. Do you guys got what we're doing here? So every object has a particular use. This cannot be used to drink soup. It is impossible to use this to drink soup. It's kind of gross, honestly. But beyond that, it doesn't have what it takes to be able to drink soup, like a spoon, maybe. Let's keep going. What is this? This is a remote. What do we do with this? We use it to change the channel, maybe increase the volume. What we really use this is to control the television. This is a remote that helps us to control the television. The engineer designed this so that you could sit on your couch, have your water, your juice, and you could chill. And from your couch, even though your TV is far away, you could be able to control the TV. How cool is that? So the use of this object is not to go ice skating, not to drink soup, but just so that you can control your television. Awesome stuff. Now we're getting the hang of it. Let's keep going. We're almost done here. What is this? A mug, a cup. What is this cup used for? To drink, to drink water, to drink juice, coffee, tea, all sorts of things. That is the cup's use, to drink liquids. The engineer who designed this made sure that it had the perfect design so that we could drink liquids from this. Yeah, all right, let's keep going, we're almost done here. I have another object for us. Oh, this one is a shiny one. It's a dangerous one too, we gotta be careful with this. This is a pizza slicer. Now, this is not just a regular knife. This knife is specifically designed so that we could slice pizza. It has these really, I'm gonna, I'm just not, I'm not gonna touch the edge, but I'm gonna touch the side so you can see how it spins around. It's spinning, it spins around. And it's specifically designed so that it could spin 
and cut on the slices of pizza. So this, an engineer designed it so that we don't have to use regular knives to cut pizza, but then we have a knife that makes it even easier to cut and slice pizza. See what engineers do? They make objects to have particular jobs. I can't use this to cut celery. It'd be really hard because of how spinny this is. But for pizza, it'd be perfect to cut through the crust, crust and all the yummy cheesy goodness. It's perfect. All right, friends, I think I have one more object for us and then we are done. Give me one second. Pow. We have here a slipper. What is the slipper used for? Definitely not for slicing pizza. This is a shoe, a shoe to protect your feet. The use of this is to protect the bottom of your feet. So when you're walking, let's say you're going to the beach one day and maybe there's glass, broken glass in the sand. If you're wearing a slipper, your foot is protected from the dangerous stuff on the ground. The engineer designed this, designed it so that you would be able to enjoy your day out with your toes out, but without hurting the bottom of your feet. So today we learned that so many objects have specific purposes. They all have a job that they're doing. So I can't use the slipper to go and, I don't know, brush my hair. It's not possible. It's great though, forever, to put on my feet to protect the bottom of my feet. Engineers create objects that have specific jobs and that they're supposed to be used in a particular way and only that way. So that's something to think about as we're thinking as engineers. Look around your house. What is that object that you're looking at used for? Think about it. Why did the engineer make this object? What is its job? Awesome job, friend. Great time with you all. I can't wait to see you guys in the next video. There is a seesaw assignment. Do not forget to do it. I'll see you guys later on our next video with Science with Miss A. See you later, alligators. Bye.